It is. Okay. Back up. Right there. No, stop backing up. All right, ready? All right. Am I in it? All right. Good. Hey, YouTube. Uh, this is Coach Morstead and Coach Morstead class. What's going on? I got my seven-year-old Grayson out here helping me do this. And so hopefully he can keep an eye on me and on the targets. So we're going to do a little experiment here, and we're going to shoot field tips versus Ramcat broadheads. Now, for those of you that know me, know I'm not sponsored by anybody, but I am a Ramcat freak. So I love them. I think they're awesome. And uh, I'm going to show you even the Ramcats. There is a little variation in accuracy. So let's get ready. So I'm going to shoot some. My boy's going to sit there and look at me and hold that camera steady, hopefully. And we'll see what happens. So we're going to shoot the ram cans first. That's fine. Look at me. Did it come back? Tap the screen. See? <laughs> okay. Anyway. Rookie camera guy. So, anyway. So I'm going to put, actually, I'm going to start with a ram cat broadhead. So if you look down there, Grayson, look down there with the camera. Put those two targets on it. The ram cats are going to be in the red because it's a broadhead target. The field tips are going to be in yellow because it's a field tip target. Okay, turn and look at it. All right, so let's go. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Ram cat first. shoot one more just because you always make sure you're shooting is that on me Grayson <laughs> okay that was the ram cat now I wasn't very steady because I hadn't shot yet so my muscles are but when you're hunting, how many times do you ever just get five million shots and then get the right one, right? <laughs> right? So here comes field tips. And one more field tip, and let's see what the outcome is. I'm going to take the camera from the little man for a minute, and I'm, we're going to take a walk. Now, I've been shooting at 20 yards. That's all for right now, and then, of course, I'll be showing you guys what happens at 50 and 60 yards this weekend or next weekend, okay? So, here we go. Let's take a walk and see what happens. I'm not sure it's going to be very good, but we'll see. All right, back to Grayson. He's going he's gonna to keep it keep it on the target okay hello <laughs> keep it on the target all right so ram cats okay these right here are field events are the field tips field events don't think i used to be a track coach to you okay these are field tips that's not too bad that's a kill shot at 20 yards however it changes and that could be a whole lot different at 50 yards but it's still pretty good i'm i was cantering a little bit which means i was tilting a little bit here's the ram cats oh really well, the grouping is about the same but they're a little high and that's about normal for for my ram cats as i hit a little high with them but i know that because i take my old ram cats and I use them to practice with. That way I'm not ruining my new ones. So, turn to me, come over here. Get away from the air conditioning unit, so. But anyway, so that's just kind of how we're at. And, but they do fly good, and, but you know, there's, there's always a variation, okay? 
Now, we're going to be talking more about the Ramcats because I like Ramcats. Like I said, that's my, my broadhead of choice. I will never knock a field tip or a, or a broadhead by anybody. One, I'm not sponsored by anybody, so that's just how it works. But I'm not going to badmouth anybody because all of them work. And, and it's like anything else. It's what you're comfortable with. I'm comfortable with Ramcats. They're devastating. They put a hole the size of Texas in a deer. And, and that will split a hog open pretty good too. I don't have any footage of that, but I have shot hogs with them, and they will open up open up a hog pretty good in that tough skin. However, I have shot some muzzies. I don't care for muzzy personally. Um, just didn't get the pass throughs like like the Ramcat does. But it's kind of funny now in 2017, 2018, the trocar muzzy trocar, and also the T3 and the, the, the G5 T3, and also, make sure it's on me, dude, the G5 T3, and now the new G5 uh, Dead Me, they all have the exact same tip on here, dude. Okay, let's stop. Sorry about that, we had a little bit of a technical difficulty, but we got it fixed. Anyways, as I was saying, you got a bunch of new new broadheads that are coming out right now and all of them if you look at them they all have that same ramcat tip because it's supposed to foil the air it's supposed to spin put some extra spin and it's all supposed to keep the air from creating friction friction on the blades and causing it to steer right steer left and I will say I have shot T3s I've shot a deer with a T3 and literally 5 minutes later shot a deer with a ramcat the T3 shot really well it but it didn't do a complete pass through it did do a pass through but it didn't do it didn't do a pass through a complete where the ramcat at the same distance blew completely through so you think kind of kind of biased to the ramcat yes i am now however this year i got the unsung hero ramcat is not known for having a mechanical blade broadhead but guess what? They have one. It's called the Savage, because I'm Savage, so I bought one. And Amazon was the only place I could find it, on, and they had it on sale for 20 bucks. So guess what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be buying a lot more. Anyway, so uh, that's how that works. And uh, we'll see what happens, because I'm going to be doing a lot more field testing of these things. And when I do field testing, I don't waste them on, on targets, unless I've already shot them, shot them through a deer or another animal. Um, so it's going to be live. It's going to be all dead animals, and there's going to be a lot of carnage. And like the broadhead says, a lot of savage. Thank you. Have a great night.